So you act, write, advocate, committee eyes. I'm a good housekeeper too. A good housekeeper too. Uh, Grant Wright, you do so many things. Do you do the, all that array of things because you have to or because you want to? Some of it I do because I have to. Some of it, and when I have to do it, I'm, I find a way to make sure that, like if I have to do it, I have to also want to do it. But sometimes there are things that you have to do just because you have to do them. Because again, we talk, we're talking to the listeners who are out there, right? And so if they're in Fort yeah. St. George or in there, if they're in Peterborough, Ontario, yeah. should they do it, do you encourage them to do it within their own communities or should Fort St. George go to Vancouver and whatever? If you want to build a community, if you want to build a, 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 an artistic community where you live, then you do it there. If your job is to be, if, you, if your ambition is to be, to star on a whatever TV show, then no, you have to move. But if, I, I personally think the thing about theater is that it's most profound when it's, it's grounded, when it's in where it's where you are, personally. That's what I think. But where it, you are the creator or where your community and your audience community is. Oh, it's, you know, it's, it really depends on the situation, right? It really depends. Cause, Give me an example. Well, for instance, Not everybody is equipped, and not, not everybody can flourish doing the kind of advocacy that I did. I just happened to be kind of the right person in the right place to do that work. Um, and it fit into a larger, it, it satisfied enough of my, of my values that I was really happy doing it and really proud of the work we did. But you're, you're missing one thing, that you, Jean, chose to be good at it. Yeah. You found that you could do it, but you chose for responsible feelings, not only to your own career, yeah. but your fellow, but to the broader community. Yeah. You chose to learn how to get good at it. Yeah. So when you did the Canada Council, yeah. you guys actually did it in depth and we yeah. made change. Yeah. So your choice to do it and to do it well was really important to making it all work. Yes. As opposed and, to, yes, I'm a representative, yeah. I'll sit on this committee and I'll do my thing and then I yeah. go home. And the important thing, I'm just realizing, the important thing is that I, is that I never, I didn't do it because I wanted to be an advocate. I did it because I had to do it. And so I was ready to pass the baton and I was always ready to try and develop and encourage other people to do it because there are people who who go and try to be the king of the castle. It's like there's no this is no castle. There's no kings. It's like we're all in this together. So it, it's like you take turns, and that's what happens. Say at Cahoots in terms of the leadership, we really strongly believed in the company and its values. We didn't have operating funding yet. We didn't have enough to pay people right. properly, so we were burning out. And you can only do as much as you're personally able to do. And, and there are times where, as an artist, uh, or as an advocate, or as, as an artist advocate, where you just have to sort of, you have to take stock of yourself as a, as a human being and say, okay, I'm running out of money, right? I can't, I can't, or I can only live at this level for, for this much longer, and I need to do these things for my health, for my creative health, for my financial stability. And, and I tell this to, to young actors all the time, is that, Whatever it is that you're doing, do not always remember that there are things that are more important than art. There are th many things that are more important than art. Truth is more important than art. Health is more important than art. Justice is more important than art. Um, um, and because sometimes we forget, right?